All right, hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be breaking down my skin shader in Blender. This works for both Cycles and Eevee. But first, a uh, quick channel update. Live sculpting will continue next week, taking a break for the holidays. Going to be traveling, don't have the time to do that right now. Also, last week released a quick video tutorial on painting eyes in ZBrush, just quick and dirty eyes. Check that out if you haven't already. Also, a behind the scenes look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order level design. If you haven't seen that, it's pretty cool. Check out that video also. Now, let's get on to the tutorial. All right, so this is kind of the final result of the shader. We're going to be breaking down the node setup. Um, if you're interested in how I created the maps, we made another tutorial coming up in a few days that involves the use of ZBrush and Substance Painter. But if you already know how to create these maps, you can just follow along and use this node setup. All right, as far as nodes go, we're going to be using the principal BSDF shader. We're going to need a texture map for the base color, for uh, the subsurface color, roughness, and normal map. So you need four texture maps to pull off an, an effect like this. I'll show you my maps. So the main skin base layer looks something like this. You can see in the bottom left hand corner. Once again, we're gonna be making these maps in ZBrush Substance Painter. We're gonna be exporting them to Blender in a later tutorial. But if you've already got your own shaders or your own textures and uh, you just wanna see a node set up or understand how this SSS works in uh, BSDF, this is your tutorial. Here's the normal map. Normal map gives a textured look to the surface of the skin. Here's our roughness map. This controls the smoothness or roughness of the skin. The smoother the map says it is, the more uh, reflective it is, the more light bounces off of the surface. And then finally we have an underlayer. This is kind of like the meaty flesh look. This is underneath of the skin, underneath of this base shader. So you can slightly see the under layer through that. Now for the node setup. Right here, this is just mapping. Uh, just basically says, use the UVs of the model, which is this is just an unwrapped sphere. Uh, the first texture is the base color. That's plugged into the base color spot on the principal DSDF shader. Then we have the under layer that's plugged in the subsurface color. I have the roughness map. I use the RGB curve to tweak it a little bit and that's plugged into roughness. And we have a normal node right here and that's plugged into the normal spot. Finally, the principal BSDF is plugged into the material output. For this to work, you're going to need to set metallic all the way to zero. By default, it's on and that doesn't look good because it's not metallic, so we basically turn that off. Subsurface is usually turned off. With that off, you can see um, it looks okay, but it, it doesn't have the depth that skin has. So I usually put that on between 0.2 and 0.3. In this case, I'll use 0.25. To achieve this effect, plug in the under layer to the subsurface color. Now you could just pick a color here and that will show through the top layer of skin. However, to make this look a little more realistic, I have this underlayer texture with um, you know, just different shades of red and blue for the veins. And we're gonna use that to show through. So when I drag that over here, you can see that color is just slightly showing through. Now actually, if I increase the subsurface level right here, it shows more of that. This, the top layer of skin essentially is becoming more transparent. So the lower you set this, the uh, less you'll be able to see the underlayer. The higher you set this, the more you'll be able to see that underlayer. So I'm gonna put it back at 0.25. For the subsurface radius, this is basically affecting uh, how much light from the RGB values is going through the skin. So the top one is the red, the middle is the green, bottom is the blue. If we, actually, let's remove a couple of lights. So you can see this better. Okay. If I turn up this red, you'll start to see there's more red right here because it's letting 
red light pass through the surface of the skin more. If I turn up this one, we'll set it to say 100, you're seeing green because this is the green value. The green is showing through the skin even more. Put that back down. And then finally we have blue. This kind of makes it look a little more yellow. I like to turn the red up a little bit because you typically want that like reddish pink color showing through areas like the nose and the ears and the fingers. So I turn that up a little bit. I leave these others relatively low. For the roughness map, I use the RGB curves just to tweak it. I didn't like uh, exactly how that turned out. Um, here was the default. You can see it's really shiny, which may be good if you want really oily skin. Uh, so I just turned this up a little bit. The higher I move this, it's actually tweaking the, uh, the grayscale values here. So I turn it up a lot and we're removing a lot of that sheen, but I don't want it all gone. I want some kind of, uh, you know, light, like shiny effect to simulate oil on the skin. So I just did something kind of like this. You just kind of want this faint. But anyway, that's about it, guys. So like I said, uh, coming up soon, there will be another tutorial where I generate these maps. If you like this video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. And be on the lookout for that next tutorial where I actually build out the maps. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.